Hello pinkies and welcome back to another plan with me video. So this week we're going to use a kit from Raspberry Designs. I found her through the PPC fall sale and I've decided to try her out because she does have some cute kits and she also offers happy planner kits. So I got the deluxe, her full kit here and I'm just going to go through it with you guys. I'm just sorting everything out. Usually with a new shop, I like to see what I have. It takes me a while to see what I do have and how to plan it so here I'm just gonna lay it out so her sheets are full sheets um, it comes with heart check boxes this is the full boxes here I showed you the functional sheet these are the appointment and this is the washi sheets and it also comes with decorative and your washies and date covers with date dots and a glitter header so it comes with a lot of sticker with this kit and this is a glossy by the way I'll put her shop info down below. Also, the other day when I was at Michael, I saw this, the, the Jolie's Boutique stickers. Like, oh my gosh, I was like, I gotta get this because it just matches this kit so well and I'm gonna use it for sure. <laughs> like, oh my God, guys, it's only two more weeks, two more weeks left in this planner. And usually I'm pretty good at picking out what to use for next year. And honestly, like not until three weeks ago, like Black Friday, I no clue what kind of planner I wanted to do or use. But if you do follow me on Instagram, I showed you my new planners that I finally decide to try it out and gonna set a new um, system for next year and see how that will work. So this week we're gonna plan from the 14th. No, sorry. Yes. No. <laughs> I'm so confused with the pages. We're going to plan from December 11th to December 17th. I usually or mostly do start from the top um, with the headers. If there's date covers, I always do that first. So her date cover is like Erin Condren style, which is individual and it does not cover the full date. So I'm just going to cover that part with this washi that I showed you. By the way, this washi, I got it from Michael's. It was 50% off. No, it was... 60 because they're getting rid of their holiday items so this was um, I believe it's a recollection washi tape so I'm just going to use this one here just to cover the top part because the bottom I'll be using the date covers this kit also comes with two different headers so I decided to use the blue header because I think it just stands a little bit more with the red date background so I'm just going to do the other side and just lay down my headers Once that's set, I'm going to work on the bottom washi. Her kit does come with the bottom washi, so I'll be using that, but also I'm going to add some more layers onto that. I've picked out a few from my collection. This is all actually from Michael's. So you'll be hearing me sing Michael's Lock because that's the only craft store we have in Canada. For those who don't know where I'm from, I'm from Canada. And we don't have Joann's or Hobby Lobby, which I wish we did have, but yeah, we have Michaels and that's it. I believe I got this set last winter, so I don't know if they have it this year. It's by recollection. I also pulled some pinks and red just to warm up the colors in the spread. And because I plan as I go, I don't know how I like to put my washi tape, so I decided to use my scallop tape here. And this you can find in my Etsy shop. And here I'm going to put this blue diagonal foiling, but I thought it'll look nicer with a little bit of red, like a thin red in between. So I went to get it, but while I was getting it, my daughter came in. Did you guys catch that? Let's watch it again. Hey, why do you get to have a real candy cane? <laughs> my daughter is four and she's not allowed to have big candy canes like this. She, I usually would give her the smaller ones, but I guess she just could not resist when she could see all these candy canes here, so I tell her to put it back. Okay, so let's get back to our planning. So I brought out some smaller washi of the reds, and I felt that the bottom washi with the foil washi kind of um, blend in, in together, so I'm just gonna put a little red there just to separate it a bit. Next, I'm going to put in the date dots because I do not want to mix up my dates. Okay. 
Now I usually work in the sections, but and I usually would do the full boxes, but because her full boxes are not the full full boxes, and also because my bottom washi is above um, the section line, I didn't know where I should position the full boxes. Therefore, before I put the full boxes down, I'm going to work on the bottom section, so build my way from bottom up. This week is going to be a white space spread. That's why I decided to use the page flags instead. Once I have my to-dos, I'm going to put um, my todays, but I like to use little things as my headers instead of today. So now that I see the space and where the full boxes should go, I'm going to start working on the full boxes and put some washi down. For those who have been following me and been watching my plan with me videos knows me pretty well that everything has to be balanced in anything I do so I usually like to put my quotes boxes in the middle which is the Thursday and then from there I have to work out the patterns of the full boxes so if it's a pattern full boxes they have to be separate like separated and balanced out within the week so that's why you see me going back and forth on both pages because I need to make sure that it looks balanced it's a little pet peeve of mine I don't know if it's because I'm a Libra and that everything has to be balanced but yeah I'm sorry once the full boxes are down I'm gonna use my ombre star washi here just to define the section or add a little bit more detail to this section this washi is from our shop. It's in the Twinkle collection. It comes in a blue and white ombre washi, and this is the pink and white ombre. So once that's down, I'm gonna put another one on the top, as I said, to balance it out. Now that I have both my sections done, last section is my today slash little thing. So before I do anything, I need to put down my meal plan sticker so I know what I'll be cooking that day. And so that also I know what to get for groceries too. You guys may not know this, but since doing plan with me videos or even planning in general, I always have a hard time doing my today's section because I cannot, especially when I film too, because I figure that you guys like to see um, events that happens on Monday and then Tuesday and then Wednesday, then Thursday, then Friday. But usually how I planned before was that I group plan, meaning that, okay, laundry is going to be every Tuesday and Thursday. So I put down stickers on my Tuesday and Thursday. And then groceries, I'm going to do Monday and Thursday. So I put down groceries like that. Like I do not do day by day. Like how do you guys plan? For me, I find it such a challenge just to follow day by day, then think of like, you know, okay, next day. All right. Tuesday, done. Wednesday. All right. What else? You know, like I just find it really hard that way. I don't know, but you guys may not tell because I do voiceovers and I speed through these process, but trust me, it just like, uh, so hard for me. Even now, like I've been planning forever and it's still a challenge for me. Is it just me or I know everybody plans differently, but like I just find it really hard. I don't know why. But anyways, um, let's work on the weekend. So this Saturday is our date night. Also, it's the last class of my daughter's skating lesson and her gymnastics. And Sunday, we have a triplet birthday skate party to go to. So she's my daughter is pretty excited to attend her friend's um, birthday party. Now that my week is done, I'm going to work on the sidebar. I pulled this uh, paper out. It's by American Crafts. I'm pretty sure I bought this like five, six years ago. I don't think they make it anymore or that they have it anymore. So I'm just pulling them out um, because it is a candy theme, sweet theme, Christmas theme. And I'm just going to go through it and see which paper will work the best. Right now, editing this video, I thought the blue with the snowflake worked very well than the one that I originally picked which is you can see the gingerbread man I decided to use this one because to tie in the brown there was not a lot of brown in this spread so I figured that I'll use this instead of the blue one because it was too blue and this is more like a candy theme so that's why I decided to go with the tan color background but now that I'm editing I really like the blue <laughs> but oh well 
Because it is a heavier paper, it's a cardstock, I'm going to use my double-sided tape. I'm going to reinforce it with three. Lining it up and I'm going to trim it out. Next, I'm going to take this decorative sticker that I got from Michaels and just decorate the spread. These are 3D stickers, so it does puff out, but oh my gosh, it's just so darn cute. Like the detailing with the jewel and the beads and the felt and the fuzzy snow is just so nice and so cute. Now looking at this, the house, the sticker is a little bit bigger than the side, but I thought it would fit, but I guess my measurement was wrong. So it just overlaps a little bit onto my Monday where I decide to film my plan with me. Her kit also comes with decorative sticker as you've seen earlier in the video. So I'm just going to use her stickers too to decorate this week's. I am also going to pull out my Mambi sticker pad here. This is their Christmas edition. I'm pretty sure this is new this year. I haven't seen it last year. Also got this at Michael's. <laughs> Next, I'm going to add some functional icon stickers uh, from my collection so that I don't forget what these boxes <laughs> means. And now time for the pen. And there we go. So now it's time to put back into my planner. Et voila. So before I let you guys go, I'm just going to show you what's left from her kit that I did not use. And there's a whole lot of stickers that's left. And I did use these extra ones in my other planner that I used for work. And I also had stickers left over from that too. So yes, this does come with a lot of stickers and I'm super happy that I found a shop and I'm obviously going to buy some more kits from her in the future. So check her shop out. It's Raspberry Designs and I will have her link down below because it is her website. I don't think she has an Etsy store. But yeah, like look at all these stickers that's left over, especially the appointment boxes and the headers. I haven't even used any of the glitter washi nor the washi pages. Thank you again for watching. And if you do like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you for your love and support. And I hope you guys have a great weekend. Be safe, stay warm, and happy planning. Bye.